Do I just, <laughs> do I start? <laughs> Thank you very much for gathering today. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Henry Golding. I am with GQ and these are my 10 essentials. My number one essential for wherever I go, wherever I travel, a camera. Could be any sort of camera. This in particular is a 35 mil sort of film camera, Leica M6 with a 28 Summicron on it. I usually shoot 35 because that's the perspective of the eye, but I also have a, a Fujifilm. I have a GF670 medium format, uh, which I love shooting as well. But I find you are never alone in any city if you're with your camera just rambling the streets looking for a, a, a good opportunity to, to take a photo. These have traveled the world with me. These have been my shape and sunglasses of choice for pretty much the longest time. One, because it's really tough to find glasses that fit my gigantic head. Two, ones that complement me, I think. These are the larger size, because the small ones look like I'm just wearing these like bottle caps. So these work really well. Prepare to be wowed by Cheesecake! Yay! This will be my third cheesecake I have had in the past 24 hours. Mmm. So good. My mom allowed us to have any cake we wanted for our birthday. But me and my brother would consistently, every single year, was like, just, just cook us or prepare us a cheesecake. So for me, it always brings back sort of memories of, you know, my childhood and my mom sort of making the digest, she used to crumble up digestive biscuits and kind of put them as a base and then make the sort of the cream on top. And they would be simple. We wouldn't have any of the garnishes or the, the compote as you see here, but it's very, very hard for me to say no to cheesecake. I'm a huge fan of perfumery, fragrances. There's a few that I continuously buy. One of them, uh, La Labo Santal 33, really classic. But my list, I've, I've literally got like three, three on my hit list. Uh, many from Frederick Mal, who is a uh, Parisian perfumer. Number one, Portrait of a Lady. Uh, number two, Musk Ravageur. My fourth must have on the list is uh, Tom Ford Black Orchid, as well as Neroli. It always kind of reminds me of the times of, of traveling in like Positano and places like that with the scent of orange blossom in the air. So I always kind of match my perfumes to the day, the evening, whatever it is. So Santal is much more of a day smell. Frederick Marle, Portrait of a Lady, much more of an evening. Have yourself a good collection. These are fairly expensive, but you don't use them all too much if they are strong. My wife made this, but it has Liv and Lila with a little heart uh, for Henry, which uh, she gave to me when I was away for a solid month. So every time, every morning I would spray and I'd kind of look at that message. Santal for me, um, very kind of a little bit spicy, wooden. I'm gonna get it all wrong, oud, and, and that kind of jazz. I don't know all the buzzwords, but I know it smells great and a lot of people love this. I better send me some free perfumes after this, jeez. <laughs> Next item, I would say 90% of my t-shirts that I own are black. This one in particular is Dolce Gabbana, but I use uh, Buck Mason shirts as well. I think they were founded in Venice, a, lo a local Los Angeles brand. They have a great sort of oyster cut on the back and kind of gives you a little bit of shape. But they have got more expensive, so you must be doing well, Buck Mason. So, this one makes a lot of noise. Leather jackets. I am forever sort of living in leather jackets. This one, it's a beautiful, I think it's, Half leather? I know, touchy subject. But yeah, I, I, I have a tremendous amount of sort of leather jackets, everything from, uh, this one's again Dolce Gabbana, Bellstaff, do some fantastic sort of motorbike jackets as well as some of outdoor, outdoor jackets that I love. Barbados has a fantastic fit as well, uh, but I'm loving these Dolce Gabbana right now because they, they have a great, a great fit and, and great colors. Don't be afraid to sort of step out of the whole black leather thing. Go for some color, spice it up. My love for leather jackets, I guess it stems from trying to look cool. Is that good enough for a reason? <laughs> Green juices. 
the world would be a much happier place and everybody had a green juice to start their morning. This one has some cucumber, some spicy stuff, some ginger maybe, but it's meant to sort of give you that little burning sensation in the back of your throat because you know it's doing good stuff. Whenever I'm, I, I'm on a full day at, on set, I have like an endless supply of, uh, of green juices. The trick behind making green juices semi-taste good, I think is the abundance of ginger. If you're putting like terrible stuff like kale in it, no good. Spinach, passable. Cucumber, fantastic. But apart from that, what else are they putting in green juices? Like green beans and, I don't know. Chalula. Hot sauce is a must with any meal. Not particularly Cholula, I do love Cholula. Definitely uh, more so whilst moving to sort of America. In Malaysia, I love sambal blachan, which is chilies with fermented shrimp fried up and kind of mixed with uh, delicious kind of Asian delicacies. But hot sauce wise, nothing more than something that's gonna burn your taste buds and destroy your meal. I've made that mistake in the past. One of my friends, John Panotti, his son brought out this hot sauce, uh, which I think is called The End. I thought they were joking, but they were like, oh, we had to like sign this waiver. It was like really hot. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. We decided to sort of have a drop of, of the end. And I literally was in tears for about an hour, just like choking. My, my friend had to go to hospital. It wasn't a good night for, for the both of us. My ninth essential item has to be my wedding ring. I actually got this in the backwaters of Kerala and Indian gold is one of the only golds with a tremendous amount of sort of hue and color. I never leave home without it. If I have to take it off for a roll, it goes into one of my very safe pockets and then at the end of it, it goes right back on. Last on my list, I pretty much never travel without them. A pair of Orlebar Brown swim shorts. These are fancy ones with a picture of guys sailing around the world. It's somewhere fancy. I love Orlebar Browns just because of the sheer fit. They have the sort of side clasp, which you find in fine men's tailoring. They're very sort of unique in that sense. And they're very much the European cut of like a good five, six inches above the knee. A good pair of all of our brown swim shorts never goes without me anywhere. I love the water. I grew up on, on the beaches of, of Malaysia. And so as a kid, I would spend countless hours kind of in the ocean, uh, in and around, on, on the sand, sort of just daydreaming. So it has a very close sort of thing for me to uh, connecting me to my, my past. Well, that's it, guys. That was my 10 essential items. I want to thank GQ for having me, you guys for watching, and don't forget, snake eyes, watch it.